is the last or the letter after that wow with the alif. If it's the ta marbuta, then really that wow is actually an alif and it's just being used as a long vowel to extend the fatah on the previous letter. Okay, now this is where the color coded Qur'ans come in very useful. So this is um, one that I've taken from a um, Uthmani color coded Qur'an. The same two examples but the top one if you have a look in this color coded Qur'an any sound that is not pronounced at all is in grey. Okay, so we've got the same thing again. We've got the although they've shown the uh, Hamzatul Wasl in here which isn't pronounced anyway. So we've got Wal Hayata and notice the wow which is actually in this case an alif written as a wow is greyed out but you've got the slight brown color on the dagger alif to indicate it's too long so in that case they've shown you that the wow is actually an alif and it's not pronounced as a wow and down below they've got samawatin and in that case they've left the wow in black indicating it must be read as a wow so this is really your safe option if you're not familiar or used to reading this and you think you might make a mistake make sure you initially learn from a color coded Quran it's very important so you don't memorize and pronounce completely wrong okay so in conclusion you now know what Alif Maqsura is and we did cover this in one of the earliest lessons in stage one of reading and you understand that the Alif when it is written as a wow so we know when it's written the alif is actually written as a wow and the giveaway again was the tamar um, you may need to use a color coded quran to make sure you do not confuse the two again recommendation do use a color coded quran it's better to depend on it while you're learning to make sure you get it right rather than learn it wrong alternatively listen to the surah recited by a professional reciter and that's always a good idea never try to memorize any Quran without listening to a professional reciter